Ciao, homie. So the way the official Strongman Games 2021 finals works is the points are carried over from the semifinals into the finals, but just against the other finalists that you face there. So whereas you may have scored 32 points because there were 32 competitors in the semifinals, you the 32 becomes 10 now and the 31 becomes 9 now and so forth because we're, we are carrying the points over but comparing them at a scale of just the guys you competed against that also made it into the finals. So that being said, the two events in the finals for official Strongman Games 2021 are a set of six bags over the high bar and then the head-to-head -head Atlas Stones. So as we look at the research for the Atlas Stones, a quick reminder that I do use a multiplier. So if something was done in an international competition, they get this full strength rating in the predictions. If it was a continental, like a Middle East Strongest Man, they get a 0.9, 90% of that. A uh, country competition, like Canada's Strongest Man, they would get 80% of that, and so forth. So Orion Lejeune, 28.57, not a great score on Atlas Stones. Ayub Mohammed, 40, so getting better. Dennis Berezhnik, a decent score, so 59.72 is starting to be a pretty good score. Frederick Rayom, 53.19. Again, these are points earned out of possible points in all the competitions where they did these events. And you can see those competitions on the left side here, so you can read through what they all are. Gabriel Rayom, 56.43 rating for him. Jitsa Kramer, 66.67. Joe Stella rates 50 on Atlas Stones. Josh Reynolds rates 48.33. Josh Thigpen, a very good score for him, 78.62. Marcus Crowder with a 40 rating. I only had him doing it in Arnold Amateur Worlds. Uh, he's probably done it other times, but I just couldn't find any. I know he competed at the Mammoth Strength Challenge too, but they didn't do stones as far as I remember. Nick Hadge with a 41.9 rating on Atlas Stones. Pavlo Kordiaka with an 88.49 rating. That's going to be hard to beat, but Peter Juhans is higher, 91.67 for him, and it was done at... Imacho, which is an international show. Sean Hayes with a 70.59 rating, so very good for him as well. Spencer Remick, not as good at 45.95. Terrence Gilbert rates 50 on Atlas Stones. Um, Tyler Cotton rates 52.5 on Atlas Stones. And he's done it at a previous official Strongman Games and at uh, Strongman Champions League Serbia. Wesley Claiborne rating incredibly high on Atlas Stones, 94 for him. And Zach Hadge, a lower end score, 30.68. So that's all of the research and detailed analysis of all the different contests that these guys did Atlas Stones in that I used to come up with these ratings. Let's see how that feeds into the predictions. Starting off, I have Stuart Graham, uh, where I really didn't have any good data for him, so uh, one point for him. Same thing for Emmanuel Frias, uh, gave him two points. I have a feeling he's going to do well in Atlas Stones, I just couldn't find any data. Three points to Nick Hadge, who is a 41.9 rating. Four points will go to Gabriel Rayom, who is a 47.02 rating, based on the detailed analysis I just showed you. Six points will go to Marcus Crowder, with a 52.5 rating. Tied with, uh, tied with uh, Tyler Cotton, who is at 52.5 as well, so... Six points for him, and I actually have to break that tie because Atlas Stones is a speed event, so I'm going to say that Tyler's going to get seven points there. Sorry, Marcus would be five, and Tyler would be six because Tyler's actually done it, and Marcus has only done it in amateurs. Seven points will go to Sean Hayes. So Sean Hayes coming with seven points with a rating of 56.47. Eight points or a rating of 70 for Jonathan Lester. Nine points will go to Pavlo Kordiaka with a rating of 71.41. And that's beaten only by 10 points going to Peter Juhas, who will win the Atlas Stones in the open men's category of the 2021 Official Strongman Games. So those are your top three finishers at the 2021 Official Strongman Games or OSG Atlas Stone event in the finals. They are Peter Juhas, Pavlo Kordiaka, and Jonathan Lester. Once I have the overall winners and the overall standings, for the 2021 official Strongman Games, you can check that out by clicking here.